I totally um, respect the view of the churches. I am certainly not surprised by the position um, that they have taken and have been vocal about, um, in particular Pastor Wade. It's no secret how he feels about it. Um, but at the same time, I come from a generation that can see the advantage of the economic um, upturn from something like this. Um, and so, like I keep saying, we already have legislation in place since 2017 that made uh, 10 grams legal for you to have in your possession. But what that actually created was an entire irresponsible uh, scenario whereby we don't know where exactly you are to get this from. Where you can't grow it and you certainly can't buy it. And so it's just taking advantage of that. Um, and I don't see it really as a religious issue per se. Leader of the opposition spoke to uh, basically supporting the, the, the idea, but that small... Uh, the smaller stakeholders that they are afforded the opportunity. Um, your take to that in terms of ensuring that uh, the small man will get a piece of the pie and not just these multinationals. Yes, this um, particular legislation that we presented um, had the input of small individuals as well. I've been consulting a wide range of people and I have to say that this particular legislation is so unique because I've not seen it anywhere else in the world that has legalized the industry around marijuana include provisions inside the legislation for a social equity license. We are referring to it as the Cannabis Unity Project License and so there's actually going to be a Cannabis Unity Project coordinator sitting on our board on our commission that determines license to ensure that the small man is protected, not just in terms of cultivation, but if they want to come up with a brand, if they want to come up with a manufacturing or, or processing of oils, uh, if they want to um, even have a dispensary. Um, as you know, 99% of Belizeans right now that are actually engaged in the trade are dispensaries, so to speak, but we call them drug dealers right now. Um, but actually, so, so we're already in that trade, so it's just to convert that and formalize that and turn it into a tax-generating, income-generating uh, venture for the government.